Among the exhibitors is the World Wildlife Fund and BirdLife International, which is a global partnership of conservation organizations that strives to conserve birds, their habitats, and global biodiversity as a whole. Peter Shea, honorary vice president of the organization, said birdwatching societies play a very important role in increasing people's awareness of the importance of environmental protection. It is uh, partly through uh, uh, societies like this that you can increase the awareness. People get uh, interested because it's a, such a, a lovely hobby to do bird watching and they are following birds, which is very easy to follow and they, they like them. They, uh, they are signs of, of uh, the coming of spring and they are lovely to have in the garden, they are singing nicely. So it is easy to use birds as uh, monitoring uh, devices. Shea offered a counter-argument for those who don't believe bird watching is a serious hobby. Bird watching uh, is considered not to be a very serious uh, occupation, but it is through learning birds, loving birds, it, that, you, that you have an easy entry point into nature conservation. You understand that birds, like us people, are dependent on healthy environment, so that you can learn to understand, and birds are such a, uh, an easy and important entry point. Barry Cooper, International Education Manager of the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, said he has been glad to witness the changes taking place in China. In the UK, in England, where I come from, birdwatching is very well established. We have over one million members of my organization. So I think that uh, some of the ideas that I've brought in my previous visits, when I've been doing training workshops, uh, have been used. and. They've been reaching children and other people. So it's most encouraging to see that the Chinese organizations here are very enthusiastic at using the ideas and uh, the other advice that have been given from, from me and from my organization over the last few years. During the exhibition's opening ceremony, BirdLife International signed an agreement with a local youth environmental protection organization regarding environmental education in schools. Teaching children about the importance of protecting the environment is something many conservationists agree on. School children are very enthusiastic and we have to get young people growing up to appreciate the fact that we need to love nature, we need to protect nature and children I think are a very important target audience to reach. So in terms of programs, I think it's very important to have an environmental education program here in the schools in China. Bird watching is becoming increasingly popular on the Chinese mainland. The number of bird watching hobbyists has grown from about 2,000 to more than 100,000 over the last 10 years. Yang Jin, chairman of the Fujian Bird Watching Society, said more efforts should be made to promote conservation. The bird fair is just a part of our promotion activities, and we plan to engage in the conversation of islands and wetland, the rescue work of endangered bird species, as well as cooperation with Taiwan and other organizations from abroad.